My name is Bill Bowersock. I am sort of becoming a poster child for Social Security equality. I grew up in Prairie Village, Kansas, and in, uh, in my town, everybody was of the same ethnic background. So when I moved to New York after college, I wanted to meet other kinds of people. Well, just after I got there, I was uh, in a bar in the West Village called the International Stud one night when uh, in walks this guy named Harvey. And it was, it was like I recognized him. I said, that's the guy. We lived together for 32 years. Everybody loved him, and I certainly did. He was a little guy, about 5'7", with a big personality and a big heart. We laughed all the time. You know, so many times I go to pick up the phone thinking, oh God, I'm gonna tell Harvey about this. Nobody's gonna get this but Harvey. And then I remember that I can't make the call. His uh, death tore me apart. Shortly after he died, I called Social Security and I said, uh, um, you know, they said, well, what's his, his uh, Social Security number? I gave it in the time of death or the date of death and I gave him that and they said, well, thank you very much. I said, well, wh wait a minute. We, we were, I was his domestic partner. We were registered in the state of California and we lived together for 32 years. She said, well, thank you very much. It's very nice of you to call and I'm very sorry for your loss. Click. And that was it. So that Social Security, at the time of Harvey's death, he was getting uh, about $2,400 a month Social Security payments. So that, for me, that money is just gone because they don't recognize me as having had any relation to Harvey at all. I just don't exist in the eyes of the federal government. I'm just another guy off the street. Thank you for your call. Click. That's it. I mean, it's a huge amount of pressure because the bills don't slow down when one person dies. I mean, so you, you drink less coffee and you eat less dinner, but that's about it. If I were to retire on my 65th birthday next month, I would um, get about $800 Social Security. So that's a big difference. That's money that would have kept me, would have allowed me to keep my house. It, it's, a, it's a very scary proposition. What I did have was the love of my life, and that was more important than any Social Security, ultimately. We don't all get that, but I got it, and I'm a very fortunate man.